Welcome to my channel. Click on that little red button to subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell notification icon to be notified. Anyone who won a lifetime of supply or something, what did you win and are they still supplying it to you? When I was a kid, Crayola was running a create a new color contest. If you want, your color went into one of the big boxes of crayons and you got a lifetime supply of crayons when they retire colors and make new ones. I made Swamp Green and One. They send me a new box of crayons once two times a year and I've been doing it for the last 20 years. My parents won a lifetime supply of diapers for me when I was about 3 months old. It was a contest where I apparently had won it on a cute picture. They received 3 years worth of diapers and figured I wouldn't need any more after that. They were right so far. My great grandfather was a farmer and won a contest of playing the straightest role in the county fair. This was about 1910 in Saskatchewan, Canada. He won a lifetime supply of seed. Each weekend, he would go pick up about 20 plus bags of seed with his horse and buggy, take them to the train station where new families were exiting the train. In 1910, Saskatchewan was giving away land to new immigrants and for years and years, he would give away each family bags of seeds to start the new farm. I won free pizza for a year at Little Caesars. They sent me $520 in gift cards, all individual $10 ones. I went through all those cards in four months. It was quite possibly the best four months ever. We walked into one and ordered like 20 pizza because we had been drinking and decided everybody just needed their own pizza. Thanks Little Caesar, seriously, it was amazing. I had a co-worker who won a lifetime supply of pies from a local pie bakery on pie day. He got one free one a month as long as he shows the card he got. It's been four years, I think. Whatever year was the correct continuation of Pi, and he brings them to work sometimes. He doesn't bother getting one every month though, since he's single and lives alone. Plus the calories are insane. He even gets the super fancy call ahead for specialty order type of pies for free. They're delicious. My sister won a lifetime supply of sour warhead candies but they stopped sending them after a few years too. I think it was a blessing that they stopped actually. Lifetime supplies of Red Hat. I legit effing hate Red Hots and they just sent me another supply this last weekend. I hate Red Hots. I won a month of free bagels from Panera, living one per day. Jokes on them, I was taking paternity leave at that time. I went every single day that month. What a month. Not a lifetime, but I won a year's supply of vitamin water. I was kind of freaked out because there was supposed to be a couple pallets worth of water and I live in a very tiny apartment and also do not like vitamin water. When it finally got time for them to chip it up, they decided to just give me a $900 Visa gift card. Was pumped about that. My mom came officially last in a large, well-known city marathon. She was awarded a lifetime supply of duck brand duct tape for stickability. They posted a box of 12 rolls, which she gave to me. When I was a kid, the Australian brand Armat was running a competition where if you bought their shapes biscuit, you could win all sorts of prizes. After begging my mom for shapes every time she went to the supermarket, I finally won a prize, which was a lifetime supply of shapes. Little me was over the moon. But when my mom looked, took the winning card to be redeemed, the supermarket said they would have to contact the Arnott's company. Well, after waiting months, we finally hear back from Arnott's via letter saying that they apologize but they cannot honor the competition, but instead have sent a $3 check reimbursing my mom for the packet of shapes. So yeah, F you Arnott's. In primary school, my school was giving away a lifetime supply of Oreos and I won and they stopped as soon as I left the school. I won a year's of supply of Oreo. The competition flopped a bit and only a few people entered. They held up their end of the deal, awesomely by supplying me with more than 365 packages of Oreos, one shipment every three months. The total amount of cookies was over 5,000. The downside is that I'm never eating a single Oreo cookie again, but I always loved the company. Rolling Stone was always an enjoyable in doctor's office, at the airport, etc. 
So when they ran a lifetime subscription offer for $100, I signed up. Yes, I bought. Not one my lifetime here. I'm still getting it almost 20 years later. The frightening part is there's an expiration date, around 2040, if memory serves. Jokes on them, though, because I know I'll, I'll live printed magazines. I got a year free wings from Buffalo Wild Wings when I was a junior high for camping out overnight and being one of the first through the doors. 52 coupons for six traditional wings. It was great, me and my buddies would go all the time and get free wings. We tried all the flavors, it was a good year. When we moved into our current house, every year around Christmas, we'd get this massive box full of assorted Kibra crackers, always addressed to the previous owner. This went on for about 10 years before they finally stopped coming. To this day, we have no idea what kind of deal the previous owner had with Keebler, but let me tell you, we always look forward to that cracker box every year. My friend won a lifetime supply of Pringles. She got something like 300 cans of Pringles and they were gone within a few months, but she lives on. I won a lifetime supply of camera film from the publisher's clearinghouse. I had to send it to them to get developed and they were sending back a new roll with my pictures. The price of the development was actually really good so I did a good decade or so until digital cameras took over. About four years ago, I won a cinema premiere card which entitled me to two free movies a week for the duration of a year. The cinema chain dragged their feet when it came to delivering the prize but I persisted and eventually received the card a few months later. Turns out the card lasted for longer than a year. It's still currently in use and set to expire in 2116. Our, our local Krispy Kreme burned down one day and about a year later it reopened. The first 100 people in the door were given free donuts for a year and number one got for them for life. A friend and I camped out overnight with over 100 other people. The first guy in line was there for an entire week. We ended up getting our years of donuts and it was a punch card which let us come back once a month for a free dozen donuts. I won a lifetime supply of water from Deer Park, the water brand in the south. And by lifetime, I mean only throughout college. After the first year, they, they realized how difficult it would be to, to keep supplying water and decided to give me something that would equal its worth, which was a $500 gift card to Target. Long story short, I now own a Nintendo Switch. I'm not sure if this counts, but a family friend did the original art for Ben and Jerry's ice cream. At the time, they didn't have money to, to pay her, so they said it was the business was successful, they would have free Ben & Jerry's for life. She can walk to any Ben & Jerry's, show them her card, and walk out with as many ice cream as she wants. We also invite her to parties. We, we always joke that she should have just asked for stock options. Not a lifetime supply, but when I was 12, I won a free year of video game rentals from Blockbuster. The only catch was I would have one game out at a time, infinite number of rentals for a whole year. As a 12 year old, this was a dream come true. Shout out to my older brother who couldn't care less about video games, but who would sure for me to blockbuster multiple times a week to get a new game. Man, that was a good year. A colleague of mine won a year supply of beer from a craft brewery and office raffle. They sent her one bottle of beer a month, 12 beers total. I won a lifetime supply of coffee beans in a contest. Each month they mail 4 pounds of excellent quality coffee beans of any choice. Sometimes I give them away as gifts if I can't use them all. About 15 years ago Lego did a thing where they, there were gold tabs on the corners of instruction manuals. If you collected enough and mailed them in, you get a lifetime subscription to the magazine. My brother and I spent all our allowances on sets during that time and got enough to send, send in. We got the magazine for probably about 5 years and after that, when we moved, we got the address changed a few times. They stopped sending after a while and would restart for a few months after we called, but eventually we never heard back. My grandparents bought a lifetime subscription to National Geographic as a kid. We have mountains of those yellow pages. When we had no fixed address, they would save all the issues and then ship it out a bundle when they found him again. National Geographic is better than Lego. It's not quite the same, but I have a lifetime membership to my gym. 
I pay maybe a few dollars a year because I'm taxes and that's it. I have to pay a few dollars to keep it alive, but shit, even if I go once a year, it's worth it. I probably go three to four times a month. I've had this for about 18 years now. My cousin won a lifetime supply of meat from the local butcher. He, got, he gets up to five kilograms a month and he chooses the meat. I thought he would be getting crappy quality stuff, but the butcher keeps providing. It's been five years now and my cousin got Venetian beef, pork, and wild boar. CC's Pizza gave me a card after finding caterpillars and salad bar. For 10 years, I've had free reign. For 10 years, I haven't stepped through the door. Back in the 60s, my grandmother, who was rich then, had purchased a health insurance policy with no deductible or copay for $116 per month. The premium was lifetime and would never go up. And it was absolutely carte blanche pay for nothing ever. Over the years, the insurance company would be bought and sold and there was always some scam. They would try to get her to upgrade or change policies. Some would even bully her. She had a lawyer whom she outlived that said no matter what, don't do anything. And companies that buy them out has to honor your policy. It is lifetime, just don't miss the payment. She outlived a number of insurance companies and her money. She lived until age 90 and had excellent health insurance until the day she died of old age. Update slash edit. She said her friends all thought she was crazy when she bought it. Her husband had just died and left her a couple of warehouses in the Minneapolis area. She said she didn't want to worry about health insurance so she bought it. She told me this story about 10 years ago before she died when she asked about it to fix the transmission of a 1983 Cadillac. She was all broke then, but kept up appearance as much as a healthy 80 year old can. I do remember when I was young, she had always great parties at her lake home. She said she blew her money the right way and in good fun. I just didn't expect her to live so long. No kidding. Health insurance worked a bit too well, I guess.